So to start out, we're going to take you around the machine and show you the accessibility for cleaning and for easy maintenance. This is the only machine with a four-sided accessibility, and we're going to show you that right now. So we're going to come around, easily open this door. The first thing you're going to see is the dust collector. Takes the dust, comes up through the door, through this vent here, and up out the top. We have a connection flange to take that dust up and away. So this is your side panel. Then we're going to come around here and open up your back panel. The other side. Now we're going to show you how easy it is to clean all of this dirt and dust that we've got. Okay, so the next great feature about this machine is it's a two belt system versus the traditional four belt system. We have two belts running horizontally. Here we have our metal plates in the vertebrae configuration holding our brush blocks on the bottom. We've also got a guide system, keeps these belts in place so that you don't have as much deflection off of the brush blocks. So you're looking at less wear, less consumable, faster processing speed. Okay, another feature that this machine does really well is the pressure rollers that you have working throughout the machine. There are three pressure rollers in the front where the material comes in, two in front and two behind as the material is passing under the belt and you've got three more pressure rollers as the material is exiting. They're also segmented for greater holding power so that you can do smaller pieces of material which we'll demonstrate in a minute. So this machine is designed very in a simple manner and very solid and clean. Everything is accessible. We're looking in the back panel again here and you've got your your main motor, which controls your brush rotation. Over here to the right, you've got your brush adjustment motor, which raises the height on your brushes for wear and tear. And up here, you've got your material thickness adjustment. Everything accessible from the back panel. So now we're going to go over how easy it is to replace your brush blocks on this machine. As you can see, this is current configuration that they're in. What we're going to do is step over to the control panel, and we're going to raise those up to two inches. Hit your caliper button. And it raises up your brush blocks so that there's space between them for, again, easy accessibility. These are first generation brush blocks. Currently, they have to be unscrewed. But coming this year, they will have a dovetail clip on them so that they can easily be pulled out and then pushed back in for easy replacement. So the next thing I'm going to show you is this really cool tool that GCAM provides with this machine that lets you measure the length of your brushes so that you can gauge when these brushes need to be replaced. Okay, once again talking about the accessibility of all of the parts of this machine. 
With this door open, you can easily access your limit switches, your linear encoder, which gives you absolute position of material thickness and your brush blocks. And down here, you've got your linear guides for your pneumatic belt tensioning. Everything is accessible. So now as you can see, we've got a table of various materials set up here. We've got some aluminum, some stainless steel, regular steel, different widths. And we're going to demonstrate how to run each of these materials through this machine. Okay, so the GTM comes with a basic PLC control panel where you have all your settings, your start and stop buttons. Here you've got your conveyor belt on or off, as well as your conveyor belt speed in feet per minute. Right here you enter in your material thickness using this keypad. And if we come over here, we've got our brush adjustment to compensate for wear. You can also turn off or on either of these brushes using this arrow button and run this as a single brush machine. This is your service and diagnostics panel. And up here, you have the option to store settings. You can store up to 200 settings for various materials. Okay, so now we're going to run some materials through the machine. We're going to start with this thin garden trowel plate. And as you can see, there's some etching on there. And that will be maintained and enhanced as we run it through the machine. So we're going to set our belt speed to four feet per minute. Then, we're going to start our machine.
going to demonstrate how small of a part we can put through the machine because of the segmented and individually sprung pressure rollers. technology machine on the market. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.